This is a machine learning model, and today I'm gonna teach it what pizza is. We're gonna train different models and even teach the AI different kinds of food. And my final goal is to cook an actual pizza and see if the AI actually knows that it's pizza. But for that, we need to show it a bunch of images of pizza, like a lot. And believe it or not, there's a dataset for this. Someone on the internet decided to collect a dataset of thousands of food images for machine learning. And this dataset is called Food 101. It has a total of 101,000 images of food and 101 different classes of food. For our purposes, we're only going to grab 1,000 images of pizza and then 1,000 random food images to teach the AI what's pizza and what's not. But before we train the models, let's explore a bit the dataset. Let's display a random image from the dataset. Okay, okay, that's some nice looking pizza. Let's do another. Wow, I'm, I'm starting to get hungry. Let's do one final one. Is that a baby? What on earth is a baby doing in my dataset? Well, turns out that after manually going through all 2000 images, there are some anomalies. Like this random baby, this random pizza man, this random baby eating pizza, a cup, and the emblem of Vietnam. Yeah, I'm as surprised with that one as you. This seems fake, but I swear this is what I actually found. There were also some other random misclassified images that I had to remove as well. I also found this, which I don't even know how to describe. Oh, and also these three fine gentlemen. And after removing the anomalies, we're ready to start training models. We're going to start with the Stiny BGG model. It's a convolutional neural net with some con B2D layers followed by a simple linear classifier. Not too shabby. It has 5,571 trainable parameters. So that's like 5,000 little parameters we can adjust to make the model predict what we want. And after training for almost 6 minutes, it got 72% accuracy. This seems very good, but keep in mind that by just randomly guessing, our model can get 50% accuracy. So that's only a 22% improvement to randomly guessing. I also got some images of pizza from the internet to see if it could recognize them. And let's just say it's not doing a very good job. I think it's just guessing that everything is not pizza, which is a fair strategy, but not a really good one. So let's see if we can change this. One thing we can try is data augmentation. This basically means that we're transforming the images in different ways so the model has a chance to learn the pizza patterns better. For example, if we were to teach an AI what a horse looks like, we could grab a 3D model of a horse, take images from different angles, crop them, and then pass them to our model. In our case, we're just doing some random crops, perspective shifts, and rotations. And turns out that our model's accuracy seems to improve with this. I also tested it with the same internet pizza images, and it seems to be doing a slightly better job. It's still getting some images wrong, like this one, where the model is 91% sure that this is a pizza. But enough BGG. It's time for the big boys. It's time for BGG16. This baby takes 224 by 224 pixel images, as opposed to the 64 by 64 pixels that the tiny BGG took. And after taking a bit of inspiration from the internet, we have our BGG model with a whopping 134,277,186 parameters and 16 layers. And turns out that I suck at machine learning and PyTorch, because after spending 3 hours trying to get this to work, I got this, which I, I don't even know what it means. It honestly sucked. But don't worry, because here comes transfer learning to the rescue. Transfer learning is amazing. It basically consists of taking a model someone else has already trained, and then apply it to our problem. So in our case, we need a convolutional neural net that has been trained on thousands and millions of images. It doesn't even have to be trained on pizza images. We just need a network that can extract the main features of an image. And once you have your model, you freeze the parameters of the transfer model so they don't change, and then slap a linear classifier on the back. The parameters from the CNN won't change, but the linear classifier ones will and so the AI will learn. We're gonna be using EfficientNet B0. This baby has a total of over 5 million parameters. But there's only one problem. 
The model was built to classify images into 1000 classes. However, we only need two classes, pizza and not pizza. So let's change that. Let's also freeze all the parameters we don't want to change. And voila, our efficient net B0 is perfect. Let's train it and see what happens. Whoa, 91.6% accuracy on the first round of training. And after 20 rounds, it has an accuracy of 92.38%. Woo, nice. Look at those loss curves and accuracy plots. They have a very low loss and a very high accuracy almost immediately. Let's see if it can predict the same internet images again. Okay, that was actually not too bad. It seems like it predicted everything right except this photo right here. So pretty good. And since this went so well, I decided to train another model to recognize hot dogs. If you have ever seen the show Silicon Valley, you'll understand why. Not hot dog, that's, that's it? It only does hot dogs? No, and a not hot dog. Again, I took the same transfer learning model and tested it, and it did surprisingly well. Just look at this, it got every image right with a fairly high probability. It only misclassified this image of a pizza as a hot dog. Now I'm feeling pretty confident that my model knows what pizza is, so I think it's time for the final challenge. Cooking a pizza and testing if the AI actually knows it's pizza. So I went to the supermarket, I got two pizzas because I'm very scientific and two pizzas are a bigger sample size than one. I got the classic looking pepperoni pizza, which should be easy for our model since it's very recognizable. And a pizza margarita, which is made of cheese and I'm guessing should be slightly harder for the AI. I put them in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius and I cooked them for 20 minutes. Not gonna lie, I think I slightly burned one of them accidentally but it's okay because it's probably going to be harder for the model. So it, it was all part of my plan. Then I took three photos of each pizza, one from the top and two from the sides to get a different perspective and see if the AI can recognize them all. And now for the moment of truth. Let's see if my beautiful efficient at B0 can get this right. Okay, here are the results for the pizza pepperoni. Woo, let's go. It got everything right. It kind of struggled a bit with this one. I'm guessing this is because most of the training images were taken from the side and not from the top. Okay, pizza margarita. Here we go. I'm slightly worried because I kind of burned the pizza, so we'll see what happens. All right, let's go. We got everything correct. Again, it kind of struggled with the top view. You can see that the prediction probability was close to 50%. I also took photos of random items and it looks like it's doing a good job of classifying them as not pizza. Remember to donate to my fundraiser. I'm trying to raise $10,000 for the American Diabetes Association by the end of 2023. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.